So we're here at the Fujitsu booth, and uh, who are you? Uh, I'm, my name is Toshiyuki Shimizu. And uh, right here you're talking about a Post-K supercomputer. So um, what is a Post-K supercomputer? Uh, this is a successor of the Post-K computer. A K computer is a very, very uh, good machine. So This is uh, right now uh, on the market? Yes, no, no, no. Uh, so this is special for the Riken. Where? Uh, in Kobe. In Kobe. So yeah. this is a very big supercomputer? Yes, very big. So how, how big? Uh, the ten? Ten, currently, the 10, uh, ten, ten, uh, ten, ten, number 10. Number 10, yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, the uh, 2011, it was f uh, first prize place of the po to uh, top 500. So it was number one in 2011? Yes. And uh, is it a green one? No, top 500. It's not a green one. Top five, top five hundred. Yeah, yeah. But is it also low, low power consumption, yes, high performance? Yes, yes. Number one. one number one. Number in the world right now. Not uh, number ten. Number ten. Yeah. So, uh, how big is this supercomputer? Ten petaflops. That's a lot, right? Yes. Uh, at the, that time, so the number one, world number one uh, supercomputer around the 2011. So, what is it used for? Uh, they are for researchers. Uh, like only in Japan or? Uh, many uh, worldwide uh, uh, people use this machine. So uh, this is a public machine. And so what is the next step here? Uh, uh, PX, uh, FX10, FX10, what is that? And, uh, he, this is a successor of the K computer, uh, but a commercial product of Fujitsu. <laughs> yeah? yeah. And this is the uh, next generation, uh, the latest Fujitsu supercomputer, known as uh, FX100. So, what is the CPU here? Uh, the Spark. Spark. Yeah. And uh, those? Those are uh, all Spark. Chip, Spark. Uh, developed by Fujitsu. But uh, here is ARM. Yes, ARM. And this is a post-K. Um, so, post-Spark, what does it mean? Uh, next generation of the K computer. The post K, post K computer. Um, so this is a uh, uh, development uh, code of the Riken. Uh, so Riken is a, a research institute, yes, or yes. in Japan, the right? largest research institute in Japan. And uh, they're working together with you to make post K happen. And this is a new ARM CPU, Fujitsu yes. ARM CPU. Fujitsu ARM CPU, uh, currently developing. How, how good is it? Is it going to be the best one? Yes, of course. The best HPC CPU in the world? I believe so. Um, because it's uh, lo lo uh, best uh, power efficiency, right? Yes. Uh, but uh, it will be uh, not available now. So it will be uh, available soon. How soon? You, you don't say how soon? <laughs> no. Don't say yet. Yeah. So can we go on the other slide? Can you can we try to change the slide to? Uh, so here you're talking about the goals. Uh, right here you're talking about uh, original CPU, interconnect, superior compiler. What are yes. you doing, superior compiler? Fujitsu uh, <coughs> has also have its original uh, compute uh, compiler to generate. Uh, <coughs> Um, binary, um, binary. So, um, is there a lot of work to be done in here? You were talking about this at the ARM uh, uh, user group meeting. Mm -hmm. So, what are you talking about there? So, I talk about the, how to <coughs> make the uh, ecosystem of the ARM. So, uh, we developed the ARM uh, supercomputer on another. Uh, Bender also develop their original ARM HPC systems. So we'd like to make sure that the uh, more prosperity of the ARM ecosystem. So it will be happy for uh, all of us. So it's good uh, that the uh, Qualcomm is good. Yes, they do yes, also. Yes. It, it brings better uh, uh, future for you also. Environment. Yeah. Development environment is very important for both uh, our uh, vendor and users. So 
user needs a uh, much richer uh, development environment. So, like the x86 uh, ecosystem. So, uh, how, uh, the ARM has a, a very good ecosystem for mobile, but not for the HPC. We need to have a, a prosperity ARM HPC ecosystem. But uh, is the ecosystem will also come with a business decision from Fujitsu, maybe, if they no, will sell no, no, this no, no. chip, for if they Fujitsu. will sell this chip to other company, not only for Japanese supercomputer, right? It needs to be for everybody to buy. And, uh, not only for the uh, CPU itself. So uh, developing the tools and uh, <clears throat> the application is also the uh, component of the ecosystem. So uh, it needs uh, much more uh, so uh, parties uh, on uh, much more uh, members. Uh, but how about uh, Riken was talking about a SIMD 10, 1024 bit? Mm -hmm. uh, is this part of the consideration? You make some new uh, design? That, that was a research, basic research. The, uh, his talk was basic research. But it's possible you may you will use some design consideration mm -hmm. for the chips for, for the, the CPU. for the future. So the we maybe use uh, the uh, his uh, work. Maybe uh, can we show some more in mm -hmm. the slides? Uh, Right here, you have uh, you're talking about uh, design to support ARM SVE. Uh, what is the SVE instruction set architecture? Uh, scalable vector is uh, extension. Is the ARM uh, specification. So we collaborate to define this uh, HPC extension. So this is uh, uh, important for supercomputers. Yes. Only for supercomputer? Or? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, for the AI or another area uh, can be used for this specification. And uh, here it says uh, Tofu? Yes. What uh, is that? This is original interconnect uh, developed by Fujitsu. It's very unique and uh, high performance. So it's interconnect for the post K? Also. Or also for yeah. current uh, K? K computer uses uh, Already. also Tofu. Uh, so here you're talking about the post K, and the difference is uh, SIMD 512. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The, this is enhancement uh, and the current K computer. What's the SIMD? Uh, SIMD, uh, single instruction uh, mount data is uh, SIMD. Yeah. All right, and uh, maybe we can go to the next one too. Okay. And so, so all this is public. Um, yes, and. Uh, but it's uh, it's news, right? It's a recent announcements, mm -hmm. and so more and more will happen in the future. This slide is uh, new, so saying that uh, we are working very hard for the compiler. So uh, there is an uh, <coughs> application that requires bandwidth or calculation. So we are focusing on both area uh, by our compiler. So uh, how do you do this work? You have some uh, Linux. Uh -huh. Linux optimization, or where does it happen, all this? So this is a uh, compiler enhancement. So it's uh, the, the compiler, uh, mm -hmm. you're doing, this This is new announcement? Or you, you were you talking about this during your presentation? Yes, yes, yes. You were talking many details about this, right? Uh, not so detailed. Not uh, so detailed. Just uh, <laughs> abstract. A little bit. Uh -huh. Some things are secret? No, here. Uh, this is public. Public. Yeah. Okay, so now we go to secret. Uh, not yet. No, not, not yet. yet. Uh, so here's what it's talking about here. So why are you talking about Fortran all the time? The Fortran is uh, uh, the basic language for the uh, HPC. So very very old, but useful for the calculation. Why? So new new maker calculation uh, usually use Fortran language. That is because long history and easy to write and easy to understand. It's so because they don't want to use a new language? Too lazy? To I work? Think oh, so. no. uh, there's many, a uh, lot of history. But uh, new. new <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, younger people use C or C or mm. another languages, uh, also for the HPC. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So. Um, 
And here you're talking more details about uh, some algorithm? Yes, so you have machine learning to do what? Uh, the machine learning is used to the how to fission, uh, fission uh, the roofs. So it is a very, very uh, difficult uh, uh, decision uh, how to fission the roof. So, uh, so we use the machine learning algorithm. All right. Uh -huh. And uh, here the the supercomputing conference, uh -huh. uh, there's a lot of uh, talk with many people in the industry here. It's very interesting, uh -huh. right? It's very, uh, uh, what's called, uh, very busy, uh -huh. the supercomputing uh -huh. world, right? Yes. You're busy? Yes. With your team? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> a lot of things are happening yes. very fast. Yes. And uh, and soon all this work will also come in the, in the smartphone, no? Like in 10 years, <laughs> supercomputers goes in the, in the pocket? So, the currently, also, the, uh, all of uh, work is done by backend or cloud. So even we use a, a high performance smartphone. So uh, Siri always also uses a backend com computation. So I think the uh, high end supercomputer will be seated out back and back and end of the cloud. So the uh, there is a two part. Uh, edge and crowd, so it will be uh, the future. <coughs>